what's going on YouTube we are back it's been a little bit but you know me I'll post three or four videos and then I stop for six months that's just how this channel rolls I hope you don't mind it thanks for sticking in thanks for subbing I really do appreciate it we broke 200 guys that's a big deal for me because like I just said I'm not consistent but anyway my last video was my dog gator uh, he just recently had gotten into blood tracking we've been working with him a lot more and um, now we've we've really upped our game a little bit um, the best track he's got under his belt now is about 250 yards, one ounce of blood that laid for six hours. So we're just trying to increase this, uh, increase the difficulty of the tracks. We're going out somewhere new where there's a lot of fresh deer sign, a lot of fresh tracks. We're going to work with him on differentiating between a fresh kill and existing tracks. Uh, so we're going to go out here. We're going to get into the thick open fields, go into some brush, go into some woods and work them there. I do plan on having these as fresh tracks because he still is only five, six months old and I'm building his confidence up. We have a whole year before certification, so I really want to make sure I solidify his confidence and make sure that he knows what he's supposed to do. Uh, I have my wife here with me. She's going to help out with the camera and the dog. Listen, guys, I'm not trying to take any spotlight. She's the one who got him to learn how to track a line. I've been working with him by myself a little bit more, but she's the one who introduced it. She's the one who does the obedience, and she's the one who had the idea to get a dog in the first place. As soon as we hook him onto this training leash, his nose is down, his tail is up, and he's hauling ass. He's ready to go. So I really do think that we have a, a strong potential for blood tracking in the future. We just did our AKC registration. He's looking like a really promising dog, and I'm super, super excited to share the process with you guys. All right, so we have everything set up on the tailgate. Um, I have my, this is two ounces of deer blood. Um, I'm just reusing this bottle, but it is filled to the top. I have two full ounces in this, and then I have a real deer hoof here that was shot with bow and arrow. Uh, we've gotten multiple uses out of this. I have to stop and get more. I haven't had a chance to really do too much hunting this year because my free time really largely has gone to working tracks with the dog. Yeah, um, almost every day. Yeah, multiple times a week. So I'm actually finding last year I had a real successful deer season and my drive to go kill them isn't nearly as much. Like I still have deer meat from last year in my freezer. So um, I'm just finding a, a whole lot of enjoyment in this. So we're going to try it out. For this first track, because he is still so young um, and we're trying to build confidence, we're not trying to break him, I'm going to start out in this... Um, not so thick stuff right here. It's definitely thicker than our yard, but it's still easily navigable. And then once I get up probably 50, 60 yards, I'm going to make a hard 90 into the field. Trace, start. And look at the time is 1040. Some people, for whatever reason, think that I'm lying about this. So I'm going to power, not power it off, but just click it off, put it back in my pocket, and we're going to run this track. So right here, it's my kill site. All right. Now, like I said, we are going to have him run fresh drags. There's clearly live deer in and out of this field all the time. We're out in state game land. Um, so there's going to be old tracks, fresh tracks, big tracks, little tracks, blue tracks, red tracks. Um, but I want him to zero in on this one. And for the record, my wife is way over there on the other side of the field walking the dog. Uh, so he's not visualizing this track. We're way beyond that. And uh, we'll just see how he does. And I definitely forgot to lay some drops of blood. I always do that for him just to kind of solidify the thought process, solidify his direction. And it's just a few drops here and a few drops there. So we're still fairly straight, but we're going through this real thick stuff. I mean, compared to my yard, um, this isn't real thick at all. But compared to the yard, it's a lot thicker. Now I'm going to start putting it on a little heavier because I want to do a direction change. And I want to make sure he's locked into this trail when I do the direction change. All right. So right here, I'm gonna, we gave a few good spurts there because that's where I'm going to change the direction. And just for myself, 
I just marked a little spot right there just so I have an idea. You know what? I actually see an easy end site. So we're I was planning on stopping halfway through this field, but we're gonna drag all the way through this field. This one went a little longer than I first anticipated, but it's okay because I do have high confidence in him. I just need him to have high confidence. Oh, I just jumped a deer. You gotta be kidding me. I can't do that while I'm hunting. I see him, I just jumped him. So that's what I mean by fresh, fresh tracks. And we still have, I'd say half the bottle, about an ounce. So that one, I've walked 20 yards from the spot. So about 160 yards. Yeah. Gator. You could just unzip this for me. Unzip what? My oh, lunch yeah. box. What are you talking about? Don't keep it cold. Gator. Hold on one second. Well, I got him to, you okay. Oh, I am recording. <laughs> My bad. Okay. You got that one? Yeah, try to untangle your. Gator, you ready? Can I follow you? Yeah. Come on, find it. Where is it? Show me. Where is it? Where is it? Find it. Right in here. He's, he's on the line, then he's losing the line, so he's coming back to find the line. This is where the direction changes, and I want him to find it. He's spot on. Right in front of me, you see the boot print that I dug into the ground? He's on it. He's on it. I know. So I anticipated this to get a little bit harder. Find it. Find it. Where is it? Show me. <coughs> Good boy. Work it.
Yes! Good boy! Good boy! Yes! My God, that was a 160-yard track. And he's never done brush like that. That is freaking awesome. And there was a live deer. And there was a live deer. <laughs> so we know that, I mean, you can see the game trail right here. Um, so there's a game trail here. And then, yeah, oh, here's fresh deer sign right here. I mean, that's like, it's, I mean, it's out in the sun too, but I mean, it's, it's still moist. Oh God, I'm so proud of this dog. And what, he's five or six months old? He'll be, he'll be six months, October 14th. Wow. He's five months old. Gator, come. Cool. We just got done that first track. He did that incredibly well. Uh, we've got some water in here for the poor boy. And then I am going to um, fill up that blood as well. So my wife, let's put it in the shade for him. So he's like... I just want everybody to see... Like, we only used an ounce of blood on that track. Oh, actually, might even have been a little less than an ounce, because this is, wow, this is three quarters of the way full. We used, like, half an ounce did a good job. on a 160-yard track. That is crazy. Did you do, um, you know how we've been doing, like, hot spots? I did one hot spot at the... When you switched. I, at the time. starting point. Okay. Because, I mean, you're always going to have, if you have a good yeah, hit, you, you're almost you always going to have a hot spot. Okay. And then at the direction change. Okay, that's what I figured. I wasn't sure if you had... You know. But that's why, so you saw how he was like overrunning the trail <coughs> and then coming back real quick. Yeah. He was losing the trail. So he'd come back and he's... Trying to find it. Yeah. Okay. But that's good, right? Oh, that's very good. And he taught himself that. I didn't have to teach him that. I need more deer blood. So while I'm out here training this dog, if anybody out there hunting wants to hook me up with some deer blood, I'd really appreciate it. Yeah, Millville, New Jersey. I will drive as far as Pennsylvania. Somewhere Maryland, Delaware. Yeah, Maryland, Delaware. I mean, as far as it doesn't have to be. Kentucky, Minnesota. No, I'm just yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I do have travel miles. <laughs> oh, this looks like a perfect hit site. We'll start right here. Good splash of blood there. Let's get Hunt Stand back open. Always a little. Hunt Stand, Trace. Start. Let me close Litchie. All right. So this is tracking. Perfect. We are going to make this quite a bit harder. This will wind up being like a 45. Alright, this looks like it's going to actually have a really good bed site in here. So. Oh, perfect. Alright, so we're going to do a bed site right here. And then another direction change. Now, sometimes he gets the scent cone and he just, he'll bypass that. He'll just pick up from that line over there and just come right over here. So, let's see. Hundred and seventy-one yards. Wow. That didn't go nearly as far as I thought it would. Alright, we're gonna go into the woods. Now, this is by far the longest track I've ever 
put him one. He did so well with the first one. That's the only reason why I'm doing it this way. It's a beautiful woods. See what our distance is right now. Three hundred yards. All right, let's keep going. And this sure does look like an appropriate place for a dead deer to die. What do you guys think? All right. And I still only used about an ounce and a half on that track. Whew. All right, so that's 350 yards. You ready, bud? Come on. Let's go find this deer. Huh? And he had plenty of water? Yeah, Okay. I'll tell you what, when we're out on like random property in who knows where, I'm gonna have to have this raptor on my wrist. Yeah. I was thinking you should uh, get him a GPS collar just in case. Yeah. Because he's never gonna come back. All right, buddy. Oh, are you going to show me where the hit site was? Oh, yeah, for sure. Here, I shot him here. Find it. Oh, he skipped it. I told you guys he would. Let's see what he does. Babe, it's, it's open. You're good. My man's on it. He nailed it up until right now. Yeah. Uh-huh. Here's our direction change. Dead on. He's on my... <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> and there's no question in his demeanor either. There's no question in his demeanor either.
This is about the tightest area right here. Look at that, he's in the briars. I tried to keep it as open as I could for you. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have some people, four, six people. All right, he's off right here. Unless he's on my track coming in. Kyle says something about a scent cone. A scent cone? Oh, yeah. He's, he's in the right direction, just not the trail. We are like 30 yards away from it. Well, he's also never tracking the woods. I know, that's his first time through the woods and he just nailed it. Nope, I, I don't, because right now I know the track. But if I didn't know the track, I'd be sitting here thinking, yeah, we got a good hit. You know what I'm saying? Like right here. Now, once he spends enough time on something, okay. Well, if we, right now he's still definitely bringing me right to it. So, yeah. I don't want to get into the habit of redirecting him unless I'm 100% sure. Like, if we if we found blood back there, I would redirect him to the last hit site. Okay. It's right along the edge here somewhere. A couple yards up. I have no doubt he'll find it. <laughs> but out of that 350 yard track he just nailed 300 of it yeah. he's not directly on the line and he's still taking me to the right place it's got to be that scent cone Good news is, is, I'm not exactly sure where I put it either, but we're in the vicinity. He's trying. I know. Trying. He knows it's around here. I thought that with it being on the GPS, I'd be able to come right back to it. It should be, like, right there. It'd be easier to find if it was a live, or if it was a deer. Yes! Good boy! Good boy! Yeah. 
Yes. Oh my goodness, I'm freaking proud of you. All right. It, is it is it hot? Do you want to go pack it up, buddy? Yeah. Oh man. He's dead tired now. He's he's tired. Yeah. Gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of Things are gonna go my way